Peyton Man is really, really funny. And even though there were some emotions, obviously, when he was talking about his dad, because uh, when you think about a father, that's what you that, that 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 that's what really touches your heartstrings when you you see the sons and Archie Manning's relationship with his children, um, and how he raised them, and how they're such class personified. They really, truly are the first family of, of, of football, and to, to Tom Brady to be in attendance that was incredibly classing and touching on his part. Uh, but in the end, with Peyton Manning, that's the beauty of him. You expect knowledge, you expect seriousness, you expect a, a, a lot of quality elements, but also you expect a lot of humor. He always makes you smile, he always makes you laugh, um, and he is just a star in his own right on so many levels, and it was really, really good to see him inducted. Um, when Peyton Manning was done giving his speech, I'm, you know, I, I, the way everyone, I think, watches TV nowadays, you're on social media as you're doing it, and you're... Social media exploded, and everyone was saying the same thing I was thinking. That's a future NFL commissioner. Yeah. And part of the reason is, Stephen A., he, Peyton Manning has command. He knows how to command an audience. He has command uh, as a performer. And I think a lot of what people responded to positively, and people were acting like it was so brilliantly written, at the end, to me, to tell you the truth, it was a very long, tortured metaphor. Um, it lacked emotion at the end to me. And I, I didn't find it particularly artful at the end. And it was, I thought, riddled with cliches. But that's kind of what you want in a commissioner. <laughs> you want a, a commissioner should be able to command the audience, should be smart, and, and should know how to um, give you a good feeling without sometimes saying too much that goes out of, you know, out of the kind of parameters of cliche. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I compare that to Charles Woodson. I didn't think, when I watched Woodson, I didn't think, oh, boy, there's the future NFL commissioner. But that was the most moving speech to me. You mentioned it. He started out with his mother. And, and, but the execution throughout that speech, precisely because it, it, it seemed so heartfelt, the way he had everyone stand up and gave credit to everyone who helped get him there, I thought there wasn't a false note in Charles Woodson's speech. It was totally authentic. I thought it was full of emotion. And that's the one I'm going to remember. Yep. But I do think I agree with people who watched Peyton Manning and said, that guy could be commissioner one day. It almost, Stephen A., felt to me like an audition for the role eventually. Mm. Guys, let me get something else in here with the Manning family. So Peyton, not the only Manning to thrive over the weekend. His brother Eli tweeting this. Peyton is not the only Manning to win an award today. Abby and I, we won the consolation bracket of the B League in mixed doubles tennis. This day just became even more special for the Manning family. Don't tell Pay. I don't want to take anything away from his big day. Guys, sometimes I fake laugh at stuff, honestly. I'm telling everyone because we're on TV and I want to be nice, especially with you two. But that was legitimately yes. funny. You have to love the Manning. Max. Do you think Eli will be the next one inducted into the Hall of Fame? I just love the shade, Stephen A. Sometimes with you guys, you know, I fake laugh to be nice. Not but Eli is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Eli is actually I didn't funny. say to you guys. But she's fake laughing right now. I don't know if that's a general. Right. I'll never guys. know again. Whatever. Look, yes, Eli is going to make, I don't know if the first ballot, but Stephen A., he was an Iron Man. He played in a place that's not easy to put up numbers, and his numbers don't look great. He was an Iron Man who won two Super Bowl MVPs, who was, by the way, I, I keep bringing this up, 538 did a thing, a study. Who's the most clutch uh, quarterback of all time? Eli <laughs> won it by so much, they redid their methodology. They said, mm -hmm. no one's this much better than everyone else in the clutch. And this mm -hmm. time, it was much closer. Joe Montana second, Eli Manning first. If you are, arguably, the most clutch quarterback who ever lived, you have two Super Bowl MVPs, and you were an Iron Man, you're in the Hall of Fame. You're probably right, Max. Um, just as long as you're not saying he's first ballot, which you said. He's not first ballot. Uh, you got a 500 record, 117 and 117. You led the league in interceptions on three separate occasions. Your career completing percentage is at 60%. Uh, those are not Hall of Fame numbers, but you are a two-time two, two Super Bowl champion. You're a two-time Super Bowl MVP, and you did deliver in the clutch. And I think when you take that into consideration, along the fact that your last name is Manning, it certainly doesn't hurt. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.